and giving us uh, your insight. Something good will come from this. Do you believe that? I hope so. I'm, I'm <laughs> basically too. risking my career and <laughs> reputation. And uh, if something good comes from this uh, five, 10 years down the road, it will have been worth it. It's and you're willing to take that risk because it's that important to you. Yes, I, I've been doing this for 30 years. People who know me in the industry know that, you know, I, I'm willing to put it all on the line, hoping that we can improve things. Well, I'm going to work with my Democratic colleagues to make sure this is not in vain. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you still use Twitter? Uh, I still have an account on Twitter. Uh, I still read it occasionally. I have not tweeted since I've left. Uh, um, given what you know, would you recommend that all of us continue to use Twitter or should we take a time out? I think Twitter is a hugely valuable service. It really shapes. So uh, no matter what you said today, you're okay with the rest of us still tweeting? Uh, I think people should look at the information they're getting off of it differently. And I think people should uh, put pressure on Twitter uh, and ask questions from the public as well as from the government and regulators. You're not asking to shut them down. You're asking them to get better. I, absolutely, sir. Okay. Uh, would you buy Twitter given what you know? <laughs> if you had um, the money. Uh, yes, well, uh, you know, I guess that depended on the price. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. But I guess the reason I asked that, <clears throat> you know, for the rest of us, we take what you say seriously. It's pretty unnerving. I'm going to go ahead and use Twitter, but I'll use it differently. And if nothing good comes out of this, shame on us all. So let me just tell you where I'm headed. There's no way to deal with this without bipartisanship, from my point of view. So I'm working with Elizabeth Warren, of all people. We have different perspectives on most everything. But Elizabeth and I have come to believe that it's now time to look at social media platforms anew. And we have this general understanding among ourselves that the regulatory system regarding social media is not working effectively. Do you agree with that? Based upon what I saw, a lot of things aren't working effectively. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. The Federal Trade Commission, uh, that's the primary regulator for Twitter, as far as we know? Um, I, I, I do not believe that Twitter should have been able to uh, be viewed as in compliance. Uh, yeah. With well, my point is, do you know when the Federal Trade Commission was founded? No, sir, I do not. 1914. A lot has happened since 1914. <laughs> World War I, World War II, and an explosion of social media. Would you say, given what you know, it seems like the regulatory bodies are sort of outgunned here? On big tech, I think they're absolutely outgunned. Yeah, they're like big time outgunned. And I want people to understand, paying a $150 million fine seems to be of little consequence. Is that your testimony? Uh, in this case, absolutely. Okay, so just imagine what I just said, Mr. Chairman. A company doesn't mind paying $150 million if they just get back on to doing what they're doing. So one of the things I'm trying to do with Senator Warren and others is create a consequence for these organizations to... Uh, give them an incentive to do better. Don't you think that's where we should be headed? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. One thing that, uh, uh, do you have a car? Yes, sir, I do. Do you have a driver's license? Yes, sir. Okay. If you drive a car, you need a license. If you sell real estate, you need a license. If you practice law, you need a license. If you're involved in the securities business, you need to get licensed. Uh, is there any licensing requirement to run a social media company? Uh, not beyond, not, not to the best of my knowledge, sir. Okay. Can you sue a social media company when they do you wrong? Uh, I do not know. Well, the answer is no. So they're not licensed. You can't sue them. And to be shocked that we have a problem is kind of naive on our part. So here's what I promise to you. that We're going to take your testimony. We're going to learn from it. We're going to create a system more like Europe, a regulatory environment with teeth, uh, an agency that came about <clears throat> after 1914, with the power to deal with privacy issues, content moderation. If you're going to be in this space, you have to harden your sites against foreign interference. You have to protect your sites against criminality. And if somebody takes your content down, you'll have an appeal process outside the group who did it. Does that sound kind of like where we need to be going? Those all sound good to me, and I would hope uh, measurable and transparent, and thank you, sir. Well, we're headed that way with my good friend, Senator Hawley, who's going to join the Graham-Warren team. We're going to come up with a regulatory system to make sure that people in this space 
pay it better attention. They have consequences if they don't change their behavior. It's long past due. Would you say that the companies we're talking about are some of the most powerful in the history of the world? Um, I, I don't know, sir. Well, I'll say that. Uh, I will say that these companies make massive amounts of money. They're virtually unregulated. Their regulatory body was founded in 1914. They're completely outgunned. And under our law, you can't sue them when you're wronged. Having said all that, there's much value to these companies, Facebook, Twitter, Google. They, they add value to life. But there's a dark side, and we're going to address the dark side. So I will just close with this. Your testimony today has legitimized what most of us feel is a process out of control, that the regulatory environment is insufficient to the task. It's time to up our game in this uh, country. I'm not about putting these people out of business. I'm about making them do business in a normal way and take their job more seriously. And if Elizabeth Warren and Lindsey Graham can come together around that concept, <clears throat> I think we're off to the races as a body. Thank you very much. Uh, what you did today will not be in vain. Thank you very much, sir. If, if what I've done can contribute to positive change, it will be worth it. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Graham. Uh, Mr. Zacco, thank you for joining us. Mudge, thank you for joining us. I'd like to ask you about what you encountered in terms of the corporate incentives 